All right, church members, we're going to start our fourth and final video here. Um, so in this video, we're going to look at the prayer event calendar, church information, your information, and then wrap up with uh, how non-church members can use this also. Some neat ideas uh, for you for outreach with that. So uh, again, top two buttons, prayers of the church, middle two buttons, people who are doing the prayers of the church, how to connect with each of those. And then now we get to our prayer event calendar. This is just a great feature. So, you know, the purpose of the prayer app is to uh, improve the prayer life of the church, uh, involve uh, the people in the church in the prayer life, help the people to see the care that's being provided uh, by the church for members, visitors, people in the community, join in those prayers, join in the care. And so one of the features of the app is a prayer event calendar. So as people are seeing who they can pray for with the prayer event calendar they can also see what ministries of the church can be prayed for and any leader in the church can add events to the prayer event calendar uh, it's not something that only the church office uh, has to do and uh, so what you can do as a member is you can go in and you can see the events on the prayer event calendar so i have some samples here for you for this training video on this prayer event calendar and uh so this is uh this week for example um you you log in and you see okay so what's going on at church so we can pray that i can pray for and you see oh there's a fundraiser for the youth and so you click on that and uh you're invited to the fundraiser for national youth gathering uh here's the date and time here's the leader's name uh email phone number if they had any more notes they'd be right there it's very simple uh so you know from that that this is coming up you can pray for this you can reach out to that person you can offer to help uh, it's all good and so this is looking at a week at a time you can look at a month at a time if you want to uh, you can see any of the events that are going on uh, and this month you can see now what did i miss last month you click on that you see all these events oh who was involved with it what was that barbecue and brats about oh they had colonel sanders there leading the barbecue and brats uh, fundraiser and that's what that was all about Okay, uh, if you want to see a couple months ahead, you just keep clicking like that. You can see a couple months ahead. You want to get back to today, click on the today button. One of my uh, favorite features of this app, again, is the little print button right here. And that's just really nice because um, you probably have some friends at church um, who don't use technology. Maybe they, they don't use the Internet. And so you can print this out. You can bring it to them uh, at your next small group gathering next time you see them at church um, whatever it is um, you are empowered as a member of your church to be able to do that you have your own little print button right there and so um, that's just your opportunity to, to uh, be a blessing to somebody else so um, click the home button there then here's your church's information and so this is kind of handy uh you have a picture of the church so you know you're bragging about your church to somebody you can show them what your church actually looks like uh you have your ad mailing address if you need to need that for some reason there's your church's website uh, if your church doesn't have a website they can use the denominational website or synodical website um, if you have a facebook page uh, that could be there church's phone number pastor's uh, name and phone number all that contact information so uh, that's kind of handy and then the very first button we talked about at the beginning was the me button this is how you update your information and just to review you can change this information as much as you want you can change your picture as many times as you want uh, you can change your password as many times as you want um, you can keep your information up to date you can do this 24 7. now one of the neat things uh, about this app is that it is designed for people who are not church members to be able to put a prayer request in. So let's go back to the home screen here uh, for the website, uh, for the web-based app, or if you're on your smartphone, uh, you can go back to the home screen there on, on your smartphone on the app. And there on both of them, there's this little button that says prayer request. And so if you click on this, what this enables somebody to do which is really kind of neat is to put a prayer request into a church's prayer database and we are having this happen where people who are not church members are downloading the app uh, because they are interested in prayer and then what they do is they will go in and they'll 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 put their zip code in so a person for example living in newark might put their zip code in there and then hit search 
And then what this does is it will pull up the churches that are in the prayer network. And then they can share their prayer with these churches. And um, in New Jersey, we've had this happen already. Uh, one of our pastors, Anthony Iovine, um, at St. Matthew's in New Milford, has had uh, a couple different households reach out to him uh, in this way. And um, so we're starting to see this with this app. And so that's just a neat uh, feature. Also, with this feature, what it enables you to do as a church member is you can invite your friends, people you know who are not church members, to download a prayer app, your church's prayer app. And um, you can tell them, look, whenever you have a prayer request for yourself or somebody, um, we'd love for you to put the prayer request in and we will pray for you. And then as we're able to, we will care for you. And so... Um, that really kind of brings us to the uh, conclusion of our training and just, you know, this final point that this prayer app is definitely about helping your church better serve members, visitors, and people in the community. Um, and it's also about helping your church to be the church wherever you are. And so whether you're talking with people in your neighborhood or whether you're flying halfway across the country and you're talking to somebody, uh, when somebody says, hey, would you pray for something? Uh, you can say yes. And then you can also say to them, uh, would it would be okay with you if I shared your prayer request with a local church, whether you're in Chicago or Dallas or wherever it is, that would like to pray for you and like to care for you. If they say yes, you can do this uh, using the prayer request uh, button there and uh, search for churches and put the prayer request in for them. And that's really God's desire for the church is that his house would be a house of prayer for all the nations and uh, that's wherever we are um, and with whomever we're talking with because we pray for all people according to their needs in Christ Jesus. I pray God's richest blessings for you and your ministry. Uh, if there is anything that I can do to help you or your church uh, with your prayer ministry, um, using uh, this app uh, to better serve members, visitors, and people in the community, uh, doing outreach workshops, please let me know. If you have any ideas or suggestions, please let me know those also. Again, I pray you guys richest blessings upon you and your ministry.